Hi, you're on Rescue TV with Karen Phillip, the baby whisperer, who's written what is now my ultimate favourite book, Who Runs the House, The Kids or You? Welcome to Rescue TV. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a privilege. This is one of the most exciting interviews I've done all year. <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm like halfway through your book and um, I have tagged so many pages. <laughs> I was up last night reading a section to my husband. This is like having an older sister or a really wise friend that's not critical but really knows their stuff about kids. Tell us a little bit about your background in child psychology mm -hmm. and as a mum. Okay, I, um, I'm a mum of three, three now grown up children. Um, lived in, we moved around a fair bit when, um, when my children were little. Uh, I decided to do a counselling uh, degree, oh gee, 20 odd years ago. From there I did my postgraduate studies in um, family counselling. Uh, I also have a hypnotherapy um, diploma as well. And I've done a lot of work over the years in preschools as I'm a preschool teacher. I've run uh, vacation care programs, sports programs for primary school children for 20 odd years. So you really have, I mean, as our readers will know, that you know, rescue is all about expert advice. And I guess that that's what I love about the book is that there's a warmth to it that obviously comes from being the mother of three children but the advice is absolutely expert and edited from a background of having taught having studied having really understood the psychology of children over the past few decades but also the psychology of parents oh yes yes definitely i mean i made plenty of mistakes when my children were little plenty of mistakes i was lucky enough to learn through those and i had a great mum who really helped me as well uh, so when the children would misbehave, you could say, rather than my automatic instinct was to yell at them, to respond, I guess, a little inappropriately, I soon realised that that didn't work and uh, I needed to find a better way to do it. I was becoming exhausted by arguing with them and fighting with them and they were winning in, in certain areas and I thought, I'm the grown-up here, I should know better than this. So I set myself a bit of a task because I had three children under four. So can I just ask you, when you had your children, mm -hmm. had you already embarked on your studies? So were you no. already... So you were. No. So no. they were the reason you wanted to become a child care <laughs> expert? Yes, pretty much. Pretty much. Well, if I could have like a child care degree and psychology degree by osmosis, I would happily have it now because I'm in that challenging three-year-old phase. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's and a good one. She's quite a mix. <laughs> They usually are. Three is, three is interesting. They're, they're no longer a baby, but they're not old enough to be able to do everything for themselves. They want to do everything for themselves. They're really at the stage of learning for the first time their boundaries, mm. their limitations, and their capabilities all mixed up together. Mm. So it's, it's interesting. Um, one of the things that I uh, really appreciated about reading the book is that you gave a lot of live examples. And I, uh, tell me about the age groups that you're really addressing in the book. It's, um, you know, from toddler to... Yeah, from about two years old. I, I speak a little about when they're babies. Yeah. And especially, you know, getting them to bed and getting them uh, to start eating foods, etc., toileting, uh, nappies, dummies, that sort of thing. But it's mainly geared for children between about two to seven years old. To, uh, once they hit seven or eight, their personality is pretty much set. What they've learnt along the way, the, the modelling they've learnt from their parents, their personality is pretty much developed by the age of eight. I, I found that really fascinating and I guess that that's um, around, you know, the, uh, when you come out of the fog of having a baby, yeah. I always call it the fog, oh, yeah. the foggy years, um, you do start to think, okay, my little person is forming. Mm -hmm. And um, there's not a lot of resources for parents. And I guess a lot of parents don't think to go and see a psychologist or an expert. Mm -hmm. They think that that's more reserved for when things are really bad. Oh, yeah. um, can you talk us about a, a few of the highlights of what you're going to teach or what we can expect to get out of reading this book and, mm -hmm. and following some of your expert advice? Sure, it's mainly written to remove conflict out of the home. That's, that's a big one. I, I see continued parents and I, I speak to continued groups and the biggest problem they all seem to have is conflict within the home, continued conflict. They fight with the children and their parents fight each other. They get up in the morning and it's, it's tense and stressful. They go off to work, they come home and again it's tense and stressful. The children won't listen, the children won't behave, the children won't respond to what's asked of them. 
So I, I speak a lot about how to eliminate that and how to get the children that to see cycle. Do. Yeah, yeah, and it is a cycle, as you say. Mm. Stopping tantrums, which is a, a big one. It's tricky, but it can be done, certainly be done. Uh, what I liked about one advice that I learned from reading the book, which I really appreciated, is that these th it can be done, as you said, it's tricky, but it's only ever a few days if oh, you yes. just stick at it. Exactly right, yes. Two or three days. For and almost any of the truly yeah. naughty behaviour, it's only oh, really two or three days. Mm -hmm. Those two or three days may feel like a year, but it's only two or three days. That's right, it is. It is exactly right. And, I, and I, we've discussed before that children will only continue to do something if they get something out of it. And, the, and for kids, even angry attention is considered oh, yeah. good attention in their world. It's attention right. to them. It's all, all about me. And, and it's a reward. Oh, yeah, absolutely it's a reward. Even parents may say, but how can it be a reward if I'm yelling at them or if I'm sitting them in the corner or whatever? The fact is that mum's undivided attention is on me. It's I'm delicious. getting it all. Oh, it. Yeah, absolutely they do. Yeah. Mm. And um, tell me a little bit more. I mean, we talk about uh, some of the highlights, uh, or should I say the lowlights of parenting a toddler or, or these little young uh, Vegemites, but <laughs> so what are some of the most commonly um, asked SOS signals or, that you receive in your practice and in mm. your work? Uh, one would be, again, as we say, tantrums, how to get rid of the tantrums. And as you say, if you follow the, the guidelines, two or three days and they're pretty much gone. I'm not saying they're eliminated forever, but it will allow the parent to learn how to manage and deal with them, how to de-escalate them very, very quickly, and how to stop probably 80% of them. Wow. And, and you can do that. So we're going to have another little episode with Karen where she's going to talk us through the secrets of tantrums. <laughs> All right. Um, sleep time, that's always a big problem. Getting them to bed, having them stay in bed, having them not to get up and come into mummy and daddy's bed. Not fighting to get them down to sleep is a, is a very big one for parents. Um, and should we do a little mini episode on that too? Because I feel that that's, that's a, it's a real favourite and it's one that people often struggle with from oh, yeah. early days all mm. the way through. To they do, yeah, absolutely they do. And look, if, if the child doesn't get a good sleep, and the parents don't get a good sleep and rest, then everyone gets up in the morning and they're cranky. They're on edge, they're stressed out. So it, it doesn't set up for a good day. So if we can alleviate that, that helps. The other thing that a lot of parents ask is, how do I get them to do something? How do I get them to respond to me? There's a number of sections in the book that, that speaks about language and communication. I found and that the, really useful. And oh, great. I found, I found it very, very, uh, warmly written, so I, I, I think what's really special about your book is that you don't feel criticised but you feel you definitely have aha moments where you become aware of your own style mm. and then you have this aha moment because what you're saying is not so radical but it actually makes perfect sense. Good, good, I'm glad. Yeah, and it's, and seriously, I, I have got to tell you, I have practiced a couple of the techniques from this book I, just in the past couple of weeks since I received the book, and they, it really is like magic. It's like turning the key to something that was so hard before. Mm. Um, and uh, where, where is the book available from? Uh, you can purchase it online on uh, Amazon. You can get it from Angus and Robinson. I'm not sure if it's in the stores at the moment or just on online. Angus and Robinson online. We'll have a mm -hmm. link um, on our site as well to where you can get the book. Um, but uh, and do you are, are you practicing as well? At, can our readers find you and come to you and seek you out oh, personally? Yeah, yeah I've, on the um, I've got uh, whoruntyourhouse.com. They can actually email me directly, and I can respond to any of their their requests. Uh, I have a Facebook page, Who Runs Your House, and um, my phone number's on there so people can contact me. I've got a practice on the Central Coast that people come to, and uh, sometimes I'm invited to, to speak to, to groups, groups of women generally, but sometimes groups of mums and dads, which is really good. I see a rescue special seminar coming on with you. I think there's a lot of our readers. We've, we've got this crazy statistic that 40% of our readers have children under six. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, so I feel like this is going to be a very, very popular topic. So without further ado, I'm going to um, thank you very much for joining us. And then we're going to get some expert advice from Karen Phillip, the author of Who Runs Your House, The Kids or You, um, on some of the most important 
little tips and tricks to manage your little people. Great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for coming to join us. Thank you.